finally, it's the final episode, and today we will go over the final realm in Nurse Pathology, Hell, and that's H-E-L, not H-E-L-L. So, without wasting any more time, let's discuss the final realm in the cosmology of Nurse Mythology. First, let's describe the place, because I have a story about the road to Hell, and you need to understand what references I'll make. So, first, this realm is obviously the realm of the dead. But it's nothing related to the uh, place H-E-L, hell, in Christian uh, belief. Secondly, some of the stories have been told about a dog who guards this place, like Serbius in Greek mythology. And your placement in this realm wasn't determined by if you were good or bad. Uh, but it's not really ever clear of exactly why people are put in certain places. Uh, this place was also thought of as just a continuation of life. Nothing bad, nothing that great. Just continuing on your life as it was. And finally, and probably most importantly, this place was ruled by Loki's daughter, Hel. And this person, Hel, is also the person who Marvel based Hel off of, in case you're interested. And finally, a few vocabulary words. Helvagir, or the road slash way to Hel. And finally, Helgrinder, Helgrinder the fence of Hel. Hell was like Christian Hell, uh, seeing as they thought it was underground, or just lower on Yggdrasil. And there was a river of clanging weapons, and there would be a bridge where people would cross to enter the main gate. Uh, but in some tales, people found secret ways to enter because if you weren't dead, it was much harder to get through that front main gate. Now, allow you to tell me the basic gist of what it was thought of to get down to the hell, or people entering hell. Keep in mind that many other beings like gods and just any other creatures in this mythology have been known to go down there in different tales and in many different ways, but it's a lot harder if you go down there without being dead. Okay, let's say you died like Imin Fadlan's person, or the person he described. And keep in mind this is Imin Fadlan, not Imin Batuta, who is for some reason always mistaken with him even though they have nothing to do with each other. So first, you and your female sacrifice are dead. But before the sacrifice dies, she throws a chicken head into the boat before dying. And this has not been explained why. Uh, it's just a funny thing you can add in there. Uh, that did happen, but it's never really explained why. At least to our modern perspectives. Okay, after that happens, an unnamed dead woman will come and guide you from where you are above hell and just guide you to hell. And now after venturing through the misty and dark land in hell, you come across a river of clanging weapons in which you cross a bridge. And after you cross the bridge, you enter the main gate into hell. And since this is more difficult to explain, I wouldn't even bother trying, but eventually you'd be put in a certain place in the afterlife. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the series. And if you did, Please like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, comment what you'd like to see in the future.